Hi everyone, welcome to this week's episode of the Black Umbrella. This is going to be the first time we're like really showing our faces. So we just wanted to do a little something different since this is going to be our first interview of the season and we just want to have more different content for y'all. Some video content. Yeah. Get y'all saying what we really look like. Exactly. So we got dressed a little bit for y'all. Okay. We be looking crazy. <laughs> I got a sweater on. Mm. Well, Listen. Let the people be full. I'm trying. Okay. Um. So, yeah, I guess we should introduce ourselves first. And we have a guest right here. And I'm going to let y'all know who he is after we introduce ourselves. So, I'm Frenchie. I'm Wes. I'm Nika. Wow. This is the Black Umbrella. <laughs> That's wow. Not. That's not be corny. Anyway. I'm not used to being recorded. So, we have a guest here in our studio today. We got like a full production going. We have Deuce Flame in the building. Woo! Yay! Spirit. Yep, yep. Spirit. Deuce? Fire. Deuce Flame Fire is fingers. a rapper. <laughs> he is coming from Houston all the way here to LA. You've been here for over a year. I've been here for over a year holding this shit down. Exactly. And mm -hmm. we are going to talk to him about his new album that he dropped called Headspace, which I should go. Check that out. Listen to it. It's on all your streaming platforms. And mm -hmm. yeah. This yeah, guy is it's fucking dope. I know him very well. I'm excited. It's like a best friend of mine. So I'm excited. Yay. And these guys are my friends. <laughs> Regular oh, friends. Okay. Drink to that, Renee. Fucking bitch. Regular friends. Regular, Regular friends. Regular friends. <laughs> 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 Wow, people get to see how mean we are to each other <laughs> on camera. How strange. I know. Wow. <laughs> so, anyway. Hop into um, it. Leah, let's hop let's into hop it. Let's hop into it. Nika, word of the day. Okay, guys. The word of the day is prerogative. Mm. Like Bobby Brown. Yes. Everybody's talking all this stuff. I'm That's the song. Mm -hmm. I don't so. It's spelled P R E R O G A T I V E. Okay, I'm with it. It's a noun and it means an exclusive right, privilege, or power of a particular person or class. Who'd like to give me a sentence? Um, I think our guest should go first. Okay. <laughs> do some Come on, do. Um, prerogative. Um, you know, there are some people that want to be dumb for whatever reason and they think that it's spelled p-e-r <laughs> and they want to believe that but oh that's their prerogative <laughs> yeah frenchie um i will say getting money with like my dream career this year that's my fucking prerogative Come for on. the year Mm. Oh, so just my shit is all just superficial, and you just on some real nigga shit. Oh. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I feel like my prerogative for the year is to make myself have different streams of income. I'm mm -hmm. tired of this one mm -hmm. or two. Only fans coming a, soon. Only fans coming soon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. My God. I'm going to have a solid three to four by the end of it. That's a goal of mine. Three to four? Three to four. Just for now, you know. I feel like that's attainable. Having sure. three to four streams of income by the end of this year. Sure. That can work. So. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nika? If I want to be a millionaire and go into a restaurant and buy the entire menu, that's my prerogative. Oh, oh you know what? Easy. Yes. Simple. <laughs> Easy. Simple. Everybody has a prerogative. Oh, yeah. That's right. For sure. Um, so, yeah. Now we're going to pay us. This episode is just like a little different just because we have an interview, so bear with us. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. um, so now we can go pay a dust. Pay a dust guest. Um, pay dust, uh, shit. By the way, pay a dust is a segment where we're just gonna sort of pay things dust and put them off the dust them off our shoulders, you know? <clears throat> we don't need any of that drama in our lives. Mm -hmm. Whatever so. drama, annoyance, whatever. Mm -hmm. Right. In the week. Mm. Deuce. Okay. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna pay dust. Uh, I think you had said something about for the year. So I'm gonna just say I'm gonna pay dust for the, for the rest of the year. Complaining about the prices of things. Oh. <laughs> 
It's damn. like, you know, it's so, it's, it's so many different ways you can look at it. You can look at it like, oh, damn, uh, I can't afford this. I don't want to know the price of this shit. Or you can look at it like, damn, I got the money and I'm blessed to be able to pay for this shit. So mm-hmm. it's like, I'm going to just look at it like that. I ain't even okay. going to be tripping about the fact that I got to buy shit or I got to pay for this bill or I got to pay for this Uber or whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm going to pay dust to complaining about paying for things. That's okay. that's what I'm doing okay. for the rest of this year. Okay. Um, yeah, I turned up. <laughs> yeah, you did. Um, I don't got one yet. Please okay. go around the table. I'm going to pay dust <laughs> to inconsistency. Mm. Inconsistency oh, is really shit. annoying, especially in a professional setting. I feel like you need to be consistent whenever it has to do with how you make your money, how you're getting your checks, you know, sure. how you're getting paid. So it's important to at least stay consistent with that whenever mm-hmm. people kind of sort of drift off into the, oh, like, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm going to get to it whenever I get to it. Or, like, I'll email this much, but I won't email this much. I'm going to hold back. I'm going to wait. It's just, like, you don't have a certain rhythm and flow that you're used to going to. It mm-hmm. really does. It's a detriment to, like, yourself and your career if you just don't stay consistent with things. So That's true. I'm paying dust to inconsistency. Yeah, fuck mm-hmm. that. I'm going to pay dust to giving up because sometimes you start something and then you stop it because you're like, "Mm, I don't think I can make it or you just start doubting yourself. So I'm going to pay dust to giving up and having more drive. Okay. Yes. Okay. Beep, beep. She got a car now. More drive. (laughs) Or we'll drive. It. Okay. Oh my god. Speaking of drive. Right. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I got my pay of dust. Mm-hmm. I am going to pay dust to just uh staying in the house. Oh mm. yeah. Yes. Gotta get out, girl. Gotta get out. I as much as I like to go out in the world, I like to stay in like about the same amount. It's mm-hmm. like fifty fifty. Yeah. And I'm letting that fifty that I want to stay in the house become like a seventy, sixty. Mm-hmm. And I've actually like been going out these past couple weeks. Like I've been going places. Oh yeah, yeah. So, have we? Yes. Yeah. We've been doing so I'm just things. like, yeah, I'm having fun doing that. So I need to get back to getting out the house. I know. We can yeah. go out tonight. I mean, Why not? I already know a place. I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> it's a Monday night. There you have Correct. it. Correct. It is. All right. It, it is, is Monday. Monday. Mm-hmm. So we can go out. Right. Just saying. But it's TBU Thursday to y'all. But throw it out there, okay? I'm just saying, <laughs> throw it out there so we don't forget it. <clears throat> oh my god. Okay. Okay. And now we're going to move on to our shining moments. Yes. So, our shining moments on um, every episode are basically moments where we just highlight on the things that we're grateful for in life, um, things that may not have been so right all of a sudden go right, and just like kind of sort of the blessings. Because you're paying things that's what you have to realize, like a way to balance that out is to just find something that you're grateful for, make you feel humble, you know? Mm hmm. Mm. So. Deuce. Deuce. <laughs> Damn. You can hit with all of them first because you're the guest. I'm sorry. Okay. You're the guest. Um, <laughs> so basically something that I'm thankful for. Yeah. There's something that's, that's something good that happened. Good that happen. That's going to happen. That's going to happen. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I've been out here for over a year and I haven't been back home in over a year. So like I just uh, got a ticket back home. To head back to Houston, so that's 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 pretty dope. That's okay. something that Houston, I can say. I'm, okay. Yeah, family man, time. I get a little bit of family time, get to recharge a little bit, get mm-hmm. to um, get away from L.A. and get back to the country for a little bit, <laughs> and um, just chill, man. I, I'm, I'm I'm pretty happy about that. I'm that's glad good. that I can get that, that done. We'll see my grand. Home, okay? Yeah, for sure. Oh man, I'm about to eat. Damn. I know you are. I know. I know I'm about it. to get some gumbo. Oh my God, that's the Ooh, first about, thing. Let me book me a ticket to that. Right, let me oh, get a ticket like, too. Listen, I can oh. down there. Actually, I, I haven't already, even thought about the food. We're already in, in the luggage you bring in. Oh, uh, we're, right. We're yeah. already there. I, I got uh two bags that I can carry. Well, cool. <laughs> I can fit. We can fit. We can fit in the bag. I can definitely fit in the Cut off extra trimmings. Try not to get over the 50 pounds, but I mean. Oh, what? I Girl, what are you smooth saying? 20. <laughs> we all together, this is this is 60. So, uh, so you'll be fine. But two bags split the twin? Come on. 30, 30. Oh, shit. I'm just saying. You know, if you fold one of us in half. <laughs> I guess it's, I can put my shoes in like a carry-on. Yeah, you know, there you go. Honey. 
feet. Just what if she's on your feet? That's true. Actually, you know what? Options. I, I, you know what? Options. Options. Right. One pair. Just yeah. one pair. Mm-hmm. You're good. You yeah. got us. How yeah. overrated is it? That's not overrated. Though. I gotta have at least four or five pairs of shoes. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie oh, to no. you. I don't even. I mm-hmm. got to have this a couple. man's like. I'll I, I have <laughs> five <laughs> pairs of shoes and, and forget to bring pants or something. Like, that's the type of shit that I would Oh, no. Oh, my God. Mm. Mm-hmm. But, man, that's a different, that's a different um, seg- segment, though. That's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, mm. traveling. Shouts okay. out to my granny. Um, um, what is my shiny moment? Oh, my shiny moment is that I'm about to go get something handled. That's been kind of following me around since like last last year. You got a stalker? No, oh. I don't got them oh. problems no more. Oh. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyway, like, it's a problem when it's a problem. Trust. Oh, it's, it's a problem. problem when it's a problem. My God. Oh my gosh. But yeah, no, just like you know, something I've been dealing with for a while. Mm-hmm. It's about to get handled this week, and I'll be done with it. Hey, man. And I'm just super excited. To just get that up out of my life for right now. Yeah, you know what I should You know what? I'm sorry. I'm going to like roll it back a little bit. Oh. oh. To my pay of dust, I want to add something. Oh. Them ladies who want to sue me for oh, 80K God. from a car accident that happened like two years ago and they totaled my car. <laughs> There's a stolen tag. Okay, I'm just Woo! Saying. I'm going to pay dust to that. Pay dust. Let mm-hmm. it out. Let I had go. to let that out. Let I just thought about it. Mm. Let it go. Mm. Woo. Yeah. Um, my shining moment. Everybody knows what my shining moment is. Yep. I got a new job. Yay. I know. It's in the field that I'm really excited to enter. It's new. It's fresh. fresh. Um, But... It's exact. It's in publicity, and it's exactly what it's. It's more than I could hope for. So happy so, for him. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Shut us up. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My shining moment is that I finally get to start back therapy. Ooh. Yay! We all need it. Okay. Nice. Man. I just didn't feel like I'd be on a wait list. I was on a wait list. They told me that. I said, "Ooh, girl, you see, mind. I'm a handle <laughs> myself." <laughs> I was on a wait list. <laughs> how long? Were, how I, got I, I got this. I got this. How long were you on the wait list? Uh, I called in November, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dedication. It's or February. It's February. It's February. It's February. It's February. For Briar. For. That's just so long <laughs> to get someone to. If you're going through something, it's like, all right, cool. Yeah. Right, I need the help, right? So you went three now, months. Now, I need it right, right now. Three months. I need it right now. I'm done. Sit down and, and think need, about I that. I need help today. Right. Well, I said see you in call 911. <laughs> like, you don't have many options. Don't call me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Wow. Damn. For another three months. Ugh. I can't. That's Jesus. deep. <laughs> so, hey, a shiny moment right there. Uh-huh. Hey, mm-hmm. You get to reflect. Mm-hmm. <laughs> see what mm-hmm. I did there. <laughs> I can't. Uh, Sorry, my eyes are like crazy. I feel like my my eyes are like they doing something right now. What they doing? Blinking. Something because usually I have these babies, my glasses, yeah, and I have off, to take girl. them off because all these lights. Mm. <laughs> my eyes is like. Mm. That's okay. We good. We Don't good. cry. We got this. Mm-hmm. We got this. I know. Um, so, are ready to slide into this interview? I'm ready. Yay. Slide. Bye, girl. Bye. So. I thought that said TBU Polka Street. I, I said I to say, I said, write. come on, Polka Polka. When you, when you Listen, wrote that. Listen, you guys, I, can, I have really bad handwriting. <laughs> See, I know. I, ain't okay. I can type well. What was it? What was the cat oh, in a brown man. bag? Oh, no. oh, my God. I forgot the about cat, that, girl. brown bag. Wes has this uh, drawing from when he was a child. A childhood drawing. I'm talking like five, <laughs> five years old, maybe six. <laughs> Wait. And he drew a, a, a brown paper bag. Y'all are gonna have to post that to y'all Instagram. Really? Oh my god! Oh, we have to brown. You gotta, you gotta put it on the story of the show. Cat in a brown bag. I don't know if it was cat, but yes, it was definitely in a brown bag. <laughs> it was something in a brown bag. Why was a cat in a brown bag? I don't know. I don't know. It was in a, it was in a coloring book, so I just made it work. No, I drew it. Mm-hmm. Oh you my drew, god! I know that was it. There was a whole drawing. I drew it. We don't need to. We don't need to hide. Oh man! Okay, you guys. Lordy. Oh, 
<laughs> Let's get started. Mm. So, like I said, we got Deuce Fame in the building, and he's going to be talking about his album, Headspace, mm -hmm. and just you being here in LA and all those types of things. For sure. So, um, first question Where are you from? We know you said you're from Houston, but like, go more in depth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, um, actually, I was born in Houston, Texas. My people on my mother's side, they are from Louisiana. And that's basically the family I grew up with. So I was back and forth between Houston and Louisiana, more uh, specifically the Lake Charles, Kinder, um, Jennings, Louisiana areas and stuff like that. So, yeah, have a down south upbringing. Um, and yeah, like I said, I've been out here for a year and a half. Came out here in July. I touched down July 2nd, 2018. Huh. So, it was, yeah, damn it, like, what's that, like 18 months now? Uh -huh. 18 months? Mm-hmm. Oh. Wow, it's like you live here. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm damn near local now. And since you're from Houston, like, how has, being from Houston, basically, like, how mm -hmm. has it influenced, you know, your daily life and your music? Um, Man, it, it kind of helps me take a slower approach to things, but it's like, I'm very mm -hmm. targeted in on how I do it. You know, we we're a little slower. I know. Know. I was gonna yeah. ask that. I've been. I, <laughs> my have family in Houston. Yeah, and going anywhere down south, like Carl Anthony. Everything. Oh, Carl Anthony, Jesus Christ, Carl Thomas house. Oh my God, <laughs> Carl Anthony. Carl Thomas. Um, everything is slow. Yeah, it is. I mean, we have urgency. Don't get it wrong. Like we have a sense of urgency out there, but when it comes down to everyday life, it's just. It's like we really just be chilling. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I feel like that's just my approach to shit. Like I really like. I'm really chill, um, real smooth with things, and I think that's noticeable. Like you know, it's every time I talk to somebody or every time like I, I do something, I'm like oh, you know, from out here, mm. like the way I dress or like you know stuff like that. You mm. know, it all influences my speak, my talk, like my swag and all that shit. So if you if you, if you can't tell, like <laughs> talking to me or seeing me, that I'm not from Texas, like you. You know, talk to me for a couple minutes. You'll ask me where you from. You know, mm -hmm. From LA, I, I get that all the time. So that's that's pretty cool. The interest factor, for sure. Mm -hmm. What inspired you to enter into the music industry, specifically the rap game? Because the rap mm -hmm. game, because the rap game oh, is like total different. I feel like every <laughs> other person right. I talk to be like, I'm a, I'm a real rapper. I'd be like, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let me Man, you know. something. Let me hear something. <laughs> that's the easy. Like it's the. Not the it's I guess I can say it's the easiest thing to get into because it's e like it's really easy to express yourself mm -hmm. with uh rap music with hip hop music it's it's um based heavy on the words you know what I'm saying your delivery your cadence stuff like that um clothes fashion hairstyle mm -hmm. I think all of that um ways of really just putting yourself in front of a camera in front of lights you know what I'm saying being able to talk to people people listen to you that's really all the inspiration right there just being a young kid um. Shit, just like everybody want attention as a kid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, and I, I knew I wanted to rap when I was young, um, so that's pretty much it. You know, you get the girls, you get to wear the big chains. You mm -hmm. see, you see Lil Wayne with his white beater on and his in his jeans <laughs> in front of the, the right. drop top, and you like, yeah. okay, like damn, this shit hard. The, you know what I'm saying? The pictures, the you know, the way that the music sounds, the mm -hmm. drums, like all that shit is fire. The same. The same reason why people listen to music, I guess that's a, a, a similar inspiration and in why I wanted to get into it. I just wanted to be a part of that shit, but on a deeper level. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, for sure, for sure. I want to add to that. I want to ask a question on how, do, on the, being that you're a rapper, you take like, you know, you and your craft seriously. Yeah. So how do you feel whenever you do get approached by people who are like, hey, I'm a rapper too, or hey, let's work together, or hey, let's do this. Like, do you, like, yeah. I, know, I know that you have to be, like, a precautious, like, okay, cool, like, let me hear some of your stuff, but, like, yeah. how do you, because I know that you, how do you differentiate between the fake yeah. and the real? Mm -hmm. well, I mean, it always just depends on where it's happening. Like, if it's online, like, I can easily, I can click on your page and go see what you got going on. Like, most people look at followers and, like, how many followers you got. You got more followers than me and stuff like that. Like, I can easily look at that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I do look at that shit. I'm not going to be, you know, lying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, like, I'll go through that shit, man. And if it's cool, like, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll hear them out. But for the most part, I don't be. You be like, oh, uh, bro. Like, I'm straight. Right. I'm, I'm straight. Because, you know, I don't really see the, the purpose in it unless we really just trying to work on something. If you in the city with me and we can get together and do something more, you just something that I'm interested in. A lot of this shit I'm not interested in. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. 
for whatever reason. I got multiple reasons, but that's that's pretty much it. I listen to your shit. It's real easy. I don't have to make. But you're not the people. kind of artist that's like, let's. Right, they like. I want to do a song with you. Okay. Right. Oh, uh, no, nah, no, nah, because like, I feel like with me, I do everything. I do everything on my own. So it's like, if you trying to make music with me, it's either you genuinely want to be make music with me, or you don't really know nowhere where you can get beats from, or you don't know somewhere where you can really get into a studio or, or right. stuff like that. So it's like you really want to just like be a part of what I got going on which is cool but I mean I'm grown at this point so like mm-hmm. all that let's learn together type shit like I, I didn't already <laughs> I know, you know what I'm saying mean. I put my time in you know at this point if you ain't put your time in I'm not on no men- I ain't got time to be mentoring nobody mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying like I'm still in the phase where I gotta get going you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. you got all these young niggas out here that's putting in that work and shit and then you got niggas that's grown as fuck still asking for help and shit like that and like bro I was figuring this shit out when I was, like, 12. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm teaching myself how to do these small things when I'm 12. I'm not going to backtrack. You know what I'm saying? So it just depends on where you at. Like, yeah, don't minimize yourself. I can't. Right. I, I, I can't. Like, I can't afford that shit right now. Mm-hmm. For sure. That's a now, good question. <laughs> now, you mentioned, like, how you do everything on your own, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, you're writing, you're mm-hmm. recording, producing, all that, mixing, that's all you, right? Mm-hmm. So... Wanted to ask, since, like, the music industry, especially, like, rap and, like, the hip-hop scene is, like, so independent, Mm -hmm. why did you choose to, like, move from Houston to L.A.? Like, since it's so, like, oh, independent, you can do it from wherever you are. Like, Mm -hmm. why specifically did you decide to come here? Uh, I mean, it's all about resources, man. You just go where you can have more accessibility to the things that you need, uh, weed, (laughs) <laughs> I think that you really need <laughs> Nah, but like And just the whole vibe, the culture out here Is different, you know what I'm saying I always tell people back home If you want to get on, like you really gotta have um, When I say back home, back in like Texas and shit, like in the south mm-hmm. You really gotta have this big movement behind you You gotta have the hood behind you You gotta have, you know what I'm saying, something behind you Which, that's that stands true Everywhere, but you can come out here And kind of like jump into the community and the community is more willing to kind of lift you up out here. It's a lot more um, encouraging, uh, you know, I would say. You can really be yourself. You can come out here and just jump out on the scene. Like, there's different places all over the city where yeah. you can pull up, and it's mm-hmm. an event And it's such on. a big city. It's it a is. big it's city. It's enormous. And, you know, Houston is a big city, too, but, like, shit is so spread. Like, how our cups are on this table, shit is just spread out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Down here in L.A., like, damn near five different spots on one street got a damn mm-hmm. open mic going on mm-hmm. uh, some yeah. type of pop-up event or an art gallery or something you walk in there yeah. you you talk to four people and you damn near in seven different social groups <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it's, oh, I'm it's, from the valley oh, I live over yeah. here it's like okay wow you know what I'm saying it's like oh I, I just worked with this with da, 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 da. you pull up to three events and you start seeing the same people and then it just comes one of those things where it's like all right I've seen this person a few times. I I get on Instagram. I see we got similar uh, followers with each other. Like, okay, I see he really out here putting that groundwork. And that's just the type of shit that people acknowledge out here. Like, they really, um, you know, L.A. is, they really want to uh, see you win. Like, it's a pride okay. that, you know, California has that they want everybody to be on their shit and, like, will push you to be better. You know what I'm saying? At least that's the vibe that I get out here. So. See y'all. That's good. We're not fake. Oh. <laughs> you know, and, and really, when it well, comes down to it, fake, real and fake don't even really matter. It's it's all about like the actions that's that you doing because there's a lot of fake motherfuckers out here in L.A. Don't don't get it twisted, but niggas is put still putting in, in putting in work. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever your tendencies are behind doors, that that doesn't really matter as long as you get into action. You know, you taking action out here, so. I guess that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You can be whatever you want to be out here. So yeah, it works. So since you moved here, what do you, what would you say like the biggest ups and downs and transitions you had to like kind of get used to from like moving to Houston? Like you said it's like mm-hmm. it's slow out there and it's kind of quick, fast <clears> out <throat> here. But like other ups and downs that you may have. You know, to it's have it's fast out here, but it's always some type of um roadblock or like traffic or like it's always something going on so like as fast as shit is there's always stuff to run into out here mm-hmm. so that's why i'm like oh it's cool for me because 
I just be maneuvering through shit. Like, I'm not really just rushing to do anything, and that shit works out. Uh, damn, what was the question? The question? <laughs> well, like, some of your biggest ups and downs. Yeah, ups and downs, yeah. Down. Okay, so like I was saying, like, <laughs> everything, like, I can slow, slowly maneuver through shit. When I came out here, I had a whip. You know what I'm saying? I had it for a couple months, and then I myself got into a goddamn accident, and they totaled my car. So, like, the biggest thing for me was maneuvering, trying to get around. You know, mm-hmm. when I was first out here, I was on the scene. Like, I can pull up to the shows, you know what I'm saying? I'm networking and stuff like that. But then when I didn't have my whip, it made it just a little bit harder because mm-hmm. now I want to go to a show or I want to go to the studio or I want to do right. this. It, it makes it a little difficult for me to really step out. So from yeah. there, it's like, luckily, I was really, I hit the ground running when I moved out here, man. Like, I came out here on the second. Uh, the third, I linked up with two dudes that I didn't know, but I knew them on social media, a producer and a videographer. We got in the studio. We recorded the song. We shot a music video. And by the the sixth, the fifth or the sixth, the damn video was up edited and on my YouTube page. Like mm-hmm. I was out here really putting in work. I've been putting in that work. So like, so I, luckily I, 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 I knew you, you know, kind of person. you know, what like, I don't really <laughs> yeah, like right. I I move with how the energy is moving. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not one person to plan slash like figure it all out. Like yeah. I just have to be here, and once I'm here. Wherever it takes me is yeah. where I'm going. So like you just you go with the flow. You move. I go with the flow. It's strategic so it's, it's, though. It's, You're up not and, just like... it's up and down with that, but like that's what the flow is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like something happens, and luckily, if you pre plan before all that shit, and you got you know you got your work done before when that big thing happens, you can just maneuver around that shit. So the biggest yeah. thing with me has just been maneuvering, getting around. But luckily, like I've had people to help me, and like public transportation, trains, and shit like mm-hmm. that. Like. That's cool about LA. We ain't really got that down in Houston. We just got the bus and mm-hmm. we got a train downtown, but that's pretty much it. Well, that's nice to hear because people always come to LA being like, your public transportation is shit. I'm like, listen, I don't mm-hmm. know about it. Mm-hmm. But I know that it's not as efficient. Like, people, uh, most people I don't who like. I know about it. People, but... yeah. people, people who move from like New York, like, they'd be like, Man, oh, really? like, that's a of whole course. other. That's a whole other, like, I going to New York, we oh, to New yeah. York, and yeah. mm-hmm. that's a whole, like, they have a stop everywhere. Yes. Like, I swear, you can, you can, you do not need a car. It's like, you, you've in lived York. in New York for a few months, yeah. right? I've, yeah, I live, I've lived in a lot of places. I lived in New York for, like, six months. So, yeah, I can see that. People kind of are like, oh, y'all transportation shit is shitty. <laughs> but, I mean, at the end of the day, like. It's like every five minutes we stop, and I'm like, shit. Yeah, man. Like, 140th, it's, it's, 138, 138. There's trains like, oh everywhere here. I mean, out there. But here, you got you got to get on the bus. Mm-hmm. And that shit is, you know, that shit is lame. But at least it goes everywhere in the city. Mm-hmm. In Houston, the bus only goes into, like, the greater parts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, the, mm-hmm. the, the, the more populated parts of the, of the city. It doesn't go to, like. Like like Carson or like yeah. different mm-hmm. like parts of like neighborhoods and stuff. It's like It's very that. concentrated. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. yeah, like pretty much it, man. Getting around, that's the ups and downs out here. But like I said, if you know people, you can just be in the studio, or you can be online, or you can do whatever you need to do in the crib, and you can still be connected with people and just that's pull true. up on the weekend. So mm-hmm. it's cool. It's, it's dope. L. A. <laughs> L. A. <laughs> <laughs> Um, how long did it take you to complete Headspace? Oh, damn. Um, like, almost, like, around three years, man, because I started working on it, um, in 2017. When I say started working on it, that's when the first song that, like, on the album, like, the earliest song, that's when I, like, I recorded it was in the beginning of 2017. Mm -hmm. The concept of that album um, was back from 2016. I had graduated in 2016 in the summer. Um, so, like, that's when I really dropped the mixtape. It was called Commencement. If y'all don't know about that, y'all go check that shit out. It's called Commencement. Um, I dropped that shit basically just talking about how I was going to start on, like, it's a new beginning on life. I graduated, you know what I'm saying? Now it's time for life to start. And then life sure does start. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Did you get that degree? Like, <laughs> like, so, uh... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like that's when it's just stuff just started going left, man. Like I, I started dealing with a lot of uh different shit, a lot of negative shit. Mm-hmm. Um I wasn't in the most inspired headspace, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man? Like, headspace. headspace. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it, it it's just one of those things though, like for real. Like if if you understand the concept of going through a process and thinking like when you get on the other end of that process that's just like, okay, 
all right, let's go. We uh-huh. in this thing. Right. And then you just sitting there like, okay, what, what's what going on? You know what I'm saying? And then you're not really doing nothing. You feel like you're in the same spot. You know, you get a little bit of cabin fever, man. So, like, that's really where it was with me. I was living with somebody that um, wasn't super positive. You know what I'm saying? They had their own shit going on. So, I was taking that energy in. So, I really just wasn't getting nothing done, man. I didn't feel like I was at a good spot. I wasn't making music for myself. I was making music for other people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, That's a big I, 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 thing. I, mm-hmm. that is a real big thing, man. When you start getting to a point where you're creating, not even for yourself, like, that's, it's like that's bad creations, your, man. The authenticity is just yeah. like, nah. That shit sucks, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And I did not like that shit. But um, I ended up moving back home to Houston, like, at the end of 2017. And that's when I really just started, like, getting back into my own vibe. Like, I got back into my own space. I had my own apartment and shit. I had my studio set up in there. It had been a minute since I had my own my own little space. So, like, I just was able to get back into my vibe, able to get back to my own self. And then I finished recording all the songs. Like, between um, December 2017 and, I say, March or April 2018, that's where the majority of Headspace was recorded, whether it was songs that made the album or songs that didn't make the album. That's where a lot of my shit was made. A lot of them beats that you hear is like from the gap, man, back in the gap. Like a lot of that shit never was going to even get dropped, you know what I'm saying? Because I was on some, damn, I don't even think people going to fuck with this. Yeah. It's like, I'm tripping. Your confidence you know is like, yeah. I'm <laughs> All like of you them. know, I'm a very, like, I'm, I'm a very confident person, but. When it comes down to the shit that you like, you really believe. It's your in, art. It's your yeah. it's your work. That shit is tough. That shit is yeah. tough, man. That's it's tough. tough. So like, yeah, but you know, you get like I said. That's why I'm going back home in a couple of weeks, and I'm right, it's a shining moment for sure because mm-hmm. it's something about just tapping back into where you were like born, like getting regrounded, getting back on the charger. You know what I'm saying? You get, you come back a little stronger. Um, all like some of my closest friends were back home. We had really good conversations, and I swear, like, a day or two after that shit happened, excuse me, goddamn champagne, shout out <laughs> to my nigga Cam, like, we had a really good conversation, and then, like, I finished up the album, man, and, like, yeah, that shit, that shit is dope, it's here, like, it's crazy, like, I got this shit on my shirt, mm-hmm. and then you got a, a Headspace hoodie on, mm-hmm. like, niggas is listening to my shit, I got lighters out there, I be seeing people got my stickers on their phones, like, this shit is dope. Niggas be listening. Niggas pull up to my crib, like, to buy merch, listening to my music and stuff. And I'm like... They don't, just be, pop- they don't be popping up, right? Oh, uh, no. Of course okay, not. good, good. Okay. <laughs> Niggas don't Hello, know. Man. Like, you I'm gotta, here. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna like my sweater. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, right. Can you let no, me know? Shit. I, mean, I ain't on that shit. That's, <laughs> that, that's that Chris Brown shit. I ain't Chris Brown level yet. But, um, yeah, man, it's just it's just really cold because it's like, damn, like, here I was two years ago in the studio listening to this shit like, man, nah, this ain't it, son. This ain't it. And now here I am, fast forward, and niggas like, oh, this is my favorite song. Or like, damn, man, this is hard. Like, I'm glad. Like, this shit really inspired me to, to write this movie I've been wanting to write. Or this inspired me to get back, you know, all that shit. And it's like... That shit is really cold. Like, you put in a couple of years or something, and you think that that's just a long-ass time, but in reality, that ain't shit because niggas is going to be 20, 40 years from now. Like, damn, I remember when this nigga dropped Headspace. Mm-hmm. And, like, I was really going through it. Like, I had this, I had that, blah, blah, blah. Right. And, damn, I had that shit on repeat. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's, the, that's what a nigga going for. So, yeah, them three years is definitely worth it. I definitely say, yeah. People, they always, like, seem to like attach memories and like moments to music yeah Mm -hmm. so i want to ask you i know previously you you know like you've released mixtapes and stuff like that Mm -hmm. and i know you've taken some down yeah i've taken a lot of music you've taken a lot of music down as well so i want to know what made headspace so like different and so special for you Mm -hmm. that you decided this is going to be an album, not a mixtape or an EP or LP or mm-hmm. CD or a DVD <laughs> or right. a cassette, a cassette, <laughs> a vinyl, <laughs> oh, man. a floppy disk. Right. Damn. You know? Okay. A floppy disk. Oh. Take the ball out with the alcohol and rub it around. Oh my God. Damn, your mama taught you that, huh? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, um, man, that's a very transparent project. Um, I was listening to it, and I was just like, damn, like, I damn near forgot about this shit. And that shit was just hitting. It was hitting so hard. And I was like, okay. 
it might be that time. Because if you go on to YouTube, man, I got a song called 2020. Uh, 2020. Damn, this shit kind of hit me. Uh-huh. But uh, I got this song called 2020. <laughs> and I basically was just um, speaking a lot of shit into existence for this year. And it's so crazy. Like, y'all got to go listen to that shit. It's a music okay. video. I had dreadlocks in the video and everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's I was doing crazy. things. Right. It is crazy. Now you're bald. Now I'm Always bald. Hit it. I'm bald <laughs> hit it. But, like, no. Nah, um, it's, it's just it's just one of those one of those things, man. Like, it needed to happen. It needed to come out. You know, the album needed to come out. Niggas needed to hear that shit. Um, I needed to put that out there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Sometimes you got to... You got to... Um, you just gotta put that shit out. You put all that work in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We sit down and uh, we'll go. Sense. We'll go to the gym for like six months, and then like we start looking good. Why would you not wear those clothes that show you, you know your new your new abs or mm-hmm. your new muscles and your, your legs <laughs> and shit like that? Off. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like like you know shit like that. We put on, work son. in for I stuff. I take this sweater off. Right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Underneath that sweater, <laughs> I'll hold that. So somebody been in the gym. Ooh, but, okay. <laughs> right. Motivation for all of us. Uh-huh. But like, yeah, man, like yeah, it don't make no it don't make no sense to work your ass off or something, blood, sweat and tears and, and just not do nothing with it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it it was about that time. What is like time. what are your favorite I don't know, what's your favorite mm, song to perform? Uh huh. Oh uh, and what's your favorite song from the album? Favorite song. It might song, be two different things. It's two different songs for okay. sure. I um damn. I might have to throw three songs out. Okay. Um, the it. first song that I like, I recorded, I made, and I performed, and really got that response. Like, oh, this shit is hot. Mm-hmm. Was Black Tea. Like, that's mm-hmm. probably one of my most popping songs. Like, people really fuck with that shit. Um, my favorite song to perform though is that Locomotion, cause like it's just so crazy. It's so it's such a weird song, but that shit slap like that. That choo choo. Like, you, you get that like that. It's crowd like so fun. It's mm-hmm. such a fun song to perform, and then I be getting people. Yeah, the crowd participation. Niggas hop in. Even if, like before I started telling people like, "Hey man, hop in on this thing with me." Niggas would say that shit because it's like, damn, choo choo. Like that's hard. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but uh, my favorite song is definitely Sour. Okay. Um, that's one of my newest songs. I I recorded that song like a couple months ago, actually. Um, that shit is just like, that's just me, man. Just really reflecting on my whole growth, reflecting on my artistry from being nine years old, recording on a damn computer in my room to like where I am now, man. Like shit, I've been working on my shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Let them know. Let the people working. know. I've been working. working. I'm not laying shit. down. Here. Right. <laughs> what are you doing today? Talk, are you just laying down watching this video? You should be working and laying down nah. watching this video. Right. You know what I'm saying? I hope you on the treadmill or something. Get <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You on the bike, you Lose know what I'm saying, weight. watching this shit. The elliptical. But, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, man, like I've been I've been putting in some work and like people are really starting to see that shit. They're like, damn, I this nigga really been consistent with this shit. Like I remember ten years ago, this nigga dropping videos on YouTube, on MySpace, Facebook, mm-hmm. shit like that. Now look at this nigga, he in magazines, he uh doing shows, he out in LA, people rapping his music, like that's mm-hmm. hard. Like mm-hmm. that's that's some motivation. Like my little cousin, like that nigga like one of my biggest fans, like this nigga a freshman in college. I remember when that nigga was a damn baby. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And this nigga loved my music. And it's like, bro, that shit is that shit is dope. You know what I'm saying? Give him some is, to look up to. It's dope. Yeah. Man. Like, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's a really good it's a lot of uh, responsibility to take over, but I mean if that's what you here for, like that ain't shit. And, you know, that's like mm-hmm. waking up and brushing your teeth. You know, you gotta get mm-hmm. that shit done. Well, I mean, like I said, that's prerogative we can go back to that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's yeah. to say you've been doing this like over ten years, you said? Man, I've been like I, man, I'm And you're 20, so young. Uh, man, I'm I'm young, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm in my mid twenties. <laughs> Oh, listen, you are. Oh, don't tell. Don't listen, tell us. You, how old you already answer. told us when you, when the year you graduated. <laughs> you already tell. told us the year you graduated. Man, I mean, we're shit. Gonna man. man, look, these these young black men is graduating from college at 13 years old. This you is know true. what I'm saying? So, you know, but yeah, man, it's it's been a minute. Like, I remember 2005, man, 2004, like sitting on my laptop, like putting shit together, downloading beats, you know what I'm saying? Rapping, writing music. Like, it's been. Been a long time coming, man. I used to perform. I performed at my damn talent shows in high school, middle school. Like 
all types of shit. Like, I've been on the microphone. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, this this ain't nothing new, so this shit easy. At this point, it's just letting y'all niggas know what's going on. Y'all just need <laughs> to catch, catch up. up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shut up, Mustard. Big fat. You know what I'm saying? All of that. Extra cheese. Okay. Yeah. Wow, I've got a whole burger. <laughs> a whole yeah. burger. Hold the tomato. I, hold that shit. I hate tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Extra tomatoes. But pickle. I like ketchup. That don't make sense. No, it does. It does. <laughs> it does. It does. It does but I also sense. only like ketchup on like some fries. Like, I only like ketchup on fries. I can't do ketchup on anything else. Man, niggas that put ketchup on their eggs. Ooh. Mm-hmm. My grandpa. You know yeah, what? Man. I used to do that when I was a child. I, I see. A child. I, I used to put syrup on them. When uh, I was a child, I still put syrup on my eggs. So. I put syrup well, on everything. I put syrup on my syrup eggs, my hash brown. I put that on everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I put yeah. syrup on everything. Yeah. That's gonna be crazy. I'm not paying for syrup. I need you don't that. put syrup on yeah, everything, Nika. No. Mm. I think Nika just wants to ask the next question. Oh no, that's not. I just <laughs> she looks like syrup she's on everything. Oh, yes. you, nigga. Syrup is popping. I put syrup on some bread. Call it a day. I put it on bread. You yeah. Damn. Gotta go on bread, oh my but I eat God. Really no, weird breakfast. Me and my sister, when we were younger, like growing up, we would take the edges off of like bread and roll it up into a ball uh, and eat it like that. Y'all you ain't never bread. had no bread before until you yeah, eat bread I thought like you was like, okay, we took the edges off the bread and we rolled the bread up into a ball. Yeah. Then you rolled oh, up you rolled the, the edges up? The edges. No, no, no. Girl, I heard edges. You right. rolled the bread. Okay, you got oh, you the edges. Heard it. You oh. forgot that key oh, okay. part. Yes. I'm sorry, you take you the edges. That when key I say part, it, I was the like, edges <laughs> of the bread and roll up the actual bread. Okay, you going to jail. When I, say, when I say roll it into oh, a ball, I listen. mean roll the bread. Okay, good. Because I was edges. confused. I was like, she's Come rolling on. a fucking edge. Well, yeah, into that's a great idea. That's perfect. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay, you'd be dipping into something. You just dipping. Dip Sometimes you can warm it up a little bit. Put it in the microwave for like five seconds. That's gourmet. <laughs> That's really that's well, it depends on the bread now. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Sara Lee? Well, that's, yeah, we love having Sara Lee. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you know you got a good, lovely black home if you got Sara Lee bread. Yeah, we had Sara Lee a couple times. <laughs> a couple times. You, got, you don't have to consistently be no, in there. No, just a couple. But come on, just come through with the Sara Lee sometimes. Every now and again. Every now and again. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. 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 Um, what is your music making process like and what helps you choose what song stays and what song goes? If I like that shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If I like that shit, pretty okay. much. I make the beat. So, like, right now I'm the executive producer. I pick the beats out. Um, if it's cold, if I find myself rapping to it, if I can write something to it, um... There, there. We run it like that. Okay, uh-huh. all right. Pretty much simple and sweet. So you make stuff you don't like? Oh Ooh. man, I do. <laughs> I do. I got a computer full of it. Oh, oh I got a computer. Okay. Full I want to hear. Have you yeah. ever Have you ever thought of mixing two that you didn't like together to create something that you might like? Oh, I have not. You might have. Put it on. <laughs> oh, no. oh, I've never thought about. Oh, put oh. On so you never I know. put them on something. Yeah. You never oh, know. Never oh, know. No. Don't just uh, trash yeah. it now. I never okay. thought about. I never thought about that. Nah, mm-hmm. that's not something. I've yeah, so done that with songs. We're about to leak all the trash. Sorry. Oh, damn. We're about to leak all the trash music tonight. Watch that be the hardest shit. <laughs> like, bro, this, this is the one. This is fun. It's, 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 damn, it's like damn. <laughs> so my my thought process all these years. Let me just throw that in the trash because I'm thinking really? that I'm on the opposite shit. But yeah, I got a lot of music that I haven't put out. Headspace. I thought that shit was trash. Mm. I that shit wasn't gonna finna be put out. That's you know actually what, what we're here to talk about. Why is it trash? Man, <laughs> you know, it's just one of Why those. Why is it just trash? Y'all just I dropped the ball on me. I thought y'all liked my no. shit. So this ain't one of them interviews. No. <laughs> this ain't one of them interviews. I'm Chris Hansen, and I want to know what the fuck you're doing. Here. Right. <laughs> Nah, man. See, I was just trying to. I was just trying to make sure and see if if, she, if her parents are home because she shouldn't be <laughs> online exactly. doing this right now. Oh my god! I, I'm Hansen. being a good. I'm. I don't need to do this. I got kids. Chris Hansen is catching them folks. <laughs> really? <laughs> anyway, speaking of them folks, <laughs> exactly. So, obviously, when it comes to rap. Comparisons come about. There's nothing you can do about being compared to people. That's true. And I know that one artist 
for sure that you get compared to a lot is 21 Savage. Who? So. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I want, <laughs> so, I wanted to know, how do you feel about, like, that comparison? Or, like, just, or, I guess just, like, comparison. <coughs> Sorry. Who was comparing you to 21 Savage? Hey, man, I get a lot of that. Why? I get a lot of that, man. I just want to see I, I mean, I I ain't gonna lie to you. Where it is? I mean, I can see it for sure. Like my voice, my mm-hmm. like I think it's my like music. Hey, maybe it's because I know you, so yeah. I don't compare you to. Yeah, that's him. probably what it is. Because I, I feel like if I was an outsider, then maybe I can see it. <laughs> but I'm an insider, so I feel like I'm I like don't see that's it. just do play. That's like whenever you see people, they're yeah. like, "Oh my god, you like so and so." I'm like, "Does she look like so and so?" And they're right. like, "Yeah," and I'm like. Uh, nah, you be surprised. Mm-hmm. You be surprised. I get that a lot. I get that a lot because, um, like I said, my voice, um, of course, my delivery, the way that, like, I'm not just super hyped, but, like, it's bars. You know what I'm saying? It mm-hmm. go like, it's that type of shit. <laughs> you know, it's a certain rock. It's a certain speed of my shit. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm pretty sure that's where they get from it. And like I said, I'm from, I'm from the South, so it's a, it's a southern draw. Draw. A draw. A, yeah. A I guess draw. What, that's what they a call draw. it. A draw. <laughs> <laughs> Type shit. Well, how do you feel just like about comparisons in general? Man, I, I ain't even oh. tripping. There we go. Is there, any, is there anyone that hear. you would compare yourself to? Or you're like, nah, I'm just um, fine. That's it. And it's I just mean, me. I mean, I get a lot of 21. I get a lot of uh, 2 chains. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've heard ASAP Rocky. I heard Hood Rich Pablo one. But um, I think that Hood Rich Pablo one. You know who Hood Rich Pablo no. one is. I think if I if Hood. I hear the song, I'll know it. The money go where I go. Smoking on gelato. Y'all don't. Y'all from California. Y'all right. don't I don't know. Y'all don't know. But anyways, wine. like Pablo Escobar one. You know what? Um, what's what's like? Yeah, I would say Twenty One Savage, like a two chains yes. man. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. like those are like Future. You know what I'm saying? Niggas like that. That's mm-hmm. that's like. Who I really listen to, along with like Lil Wayne and Kanye West, of course. But I'm really I'm I like swag rap. Like, I so like, do you have a favorite rapper? I know you said Lil Wayne and Kanye West, but do you have a favorite rapper in general? Like that you would be like. If that's I can just say the one nigga, my favorite rap probably Future. Oh, okay. okay, for sure. That's my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that's my nigga, dog. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah, but yeah. it probably be Future. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I really love the way that he put his music together. Yes, that shit I dope. See that. We love misogyny here. If only he could put hey. his woman together as good as he puts it. <laughs> Man, look. I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're just yeah. kidding. If only he could put his woman together. Oh, they together. On. If you got to watch, you're with him. What do you mean? That's true. This is true. You're going to mm. cry in this goddamn. Mm. All right, you're going to cry. In, what do you say? You're going to cry in the Honda? You're going to cry in the. I don't know. It don't even matter. This is this. Ain't I no can't. crying in the car. Well, Just don't cry in the lesser vehicle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to cry in something or do you want to cry in I get you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, get you. yeah, yeah. Remember that You going to cry in a race? Yeah. You crying yeah. that instead. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, um, I think it was like a Honda. Yeah, it was what like are your, I want to know what are your other passions beside music? Mm. Like let's get to know Deuce outside of just his music. Other than music, uh man, believe it or not, I like you know homes and like clothes and like, like homes and gardens. And yeah, oh, I like HGTV. homes. I like interior yeah, I design that. stuff Hold like that. <laughs> I, I can tell you what looks nice in your house and what don't look nice in your house. Well, what looks nice yes. in my house? Let's just... Man, shouts out to all the Kobe. Right, all, all the Kobe all looks Kobe beautiful. beautiful. Kobe. Love you it. You know what I'm saying? The Michael um, Jordan. The Jordan. I right. fuck with this shit. Yeah, we got a little tiger. You got the TV. Yeah, you got the TV. This shit groundbreaking. It was thing. <laughs> nah, but like that, um, I, I, like, um, I like clothes, man. I, I dibble and dabble into that shit. Like, I, uh, clothing? you know, on a sewing machine, I fuck around. Okay. Uh, I draw. It's one of my things I'm really good at, but I don't do drawing. Yeah, I'm really good at that. Uh, which I guess that's all artistic shit, but oh, I like trading. I like you to trade in stocks and shit. Like, that's on. cool. Like, you know, that's different, you know? I say stuff you like, like to that. Draw. So, it's true that you drew your album cover? Oh, yeah, I sure did. I drew that shit, um, like in 2016, actually. I drew that shit in 2016 before I cut my hair. 
I had dreads, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was really on some premonition shit. I didn't even have no plans of cutting my hair. Like, that shit was crazy. The motherfucking city was on fire. You know what I'm mm. saying? I was leaving the city. Like, damn, oh, that shit. shit was deep. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. a nigga thinking I had the goddamn drugs and the cars and the money and the bitches in my head. Like, Look at you that. know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. mm. You know what I'm saying? And I had like a virtual, you know, if you can't peep, I had like some virtual reality goggles on, man. Like, it's really deep. Like, I, I put a little bit of thought process into that shit. I drew that shit when I was working at this weak ass call center after oh. I graduated <laughs> from college. Uh, I was sitting in that bitch bored as hell, listening to a whole bunch of ratchet motherfuckers talk. <laughs> and, I just, and I just started drawing. And mm-hmm. that's how we got the cover. Like, yeah, I drew it, and then I ended up remaking it on the computer. Okay. So, yeah, shout out to them skills that I learned in like, skills. high school and shit, Photoshop and Come on. YouTube. I had an art teacher in high school miss, once. Miss, miss. But, Butler? Uh, but Is that her name? Butler? Is it Miss Butler? The girl was crazy. Girl, she me? was crazy. You she know was her. a computer we teacher. All had and she was our, we all had to have her. It was her. Miss Butler. It was yeah. Miss Butler. Hey, girl. Oh, damn. I'm yeah. not going to say hey to you. No. Nah. You lost. We my don't get that out. <laughs> you, you lost if you give a mouse a cookie. No, she did not she lose did. if you give a mouse a cookie. She did. I love that book. I did a whole audio book. Know, my mama kids. read it to me all the time. Oh, we gotta get you one. A cookie book? It's not a cookie book. It's Listen. about a mouse and a cookie. All I know is I recorded an audio book <laughs> for the kids, for the preschoolers, and she lost it. <laughs> I was like, I did a whole volunteer Fuck effort bitch, in high man. school. Losing I'm shit. looking for her, like, where is something to give to the kids? She's like, ah. I'm like, okay, listen, I'm done. She ain't for the kids. Oh, that, she not. No, she's not. Mm. It's Black History Month anyway, and yeah. she wasn't a black mm-hmm. teacher, so let's just on to the move next. on. <laughs> for sure, for sure. My bun is trying to come down. Oh, poor bun. Let's keep him up there. I'm going to be like Marlo, did Nene. I'm just going to redo this thing. Okay, okay. Re- oh, okay. wow. Yeah. Well, in the meantime, in between time, what's given. next for you? Um, what's next for Deuce Flame? Okay, well, Deuce Flame is working on putting a uh, a few shows together, working on a tour. I am um going to start getting into these colleges, doing a lot more shows for the mm-hmm. colleges and stuff like that, breaking onto that local scene. Um, and blessed to be able to get on podcasts and and cool ass shows like this. So you know. Just doing a lot to push myself at this point. I got the project out there. That shit's been done. Now I'm just getting into the city, you know, getting t- touching in with the local artists, the um, the local communities and stuff like that, and just putting myself out there and letting niggas know that I exist. Okay. That's pretty much where we at with it right now. And just a lot of marketing, a lot of press. Yeah, you know, you. a lot of marketing, a lot of press, and, and collaborating with other people Come that, on. you know, got a work ethic that I, that I fuck with. Okay. Pretty yeah. much. Mm-hmm. Damn, I didn't drink like two cups. <laughs> you did, just a little bit. It's okay though. It's okay though. Now, um, we have a question from a listener. Oh, tight. Yeah. Listener question. Listener question. Hey, they care. Who was listener? It's Harold. Ah, uh, Harold. Hi, Harold. Hi, Hi Harold. Harold. What's good, bro? <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> he wants to know, like, what is hip hop slash rap? To you, mm-hmm. and how do you see yourself contributing to that? Hip hop slash rap yeah. is um, putting out what you believe in. You know what I'm saying? It's all subjective at the end of the day. So that's pretty much where I fall into it. I'm telling my stories, I'm telling uh, what I see. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting it out in the way that I want to. So that's how that shit is. That's, that's what I see hip hop as. Just, having your voice and just having the gumption to put that shit out there. So okay. simple. You know what I'm saying? Having the voice gonna, and using your voice. Yeah, having the <laughs> voice and using that shit. As long know? as you're doing those two, you're not gonna be long. Yeah. Right. Then, yeah. <laughs> if you got some you know, you got some drums and some and some snares and you throw that shit on top of that. That's that's rap, that's hip hop. You know I what I'm saying? Jump. You see how I get treated around here? Make one kind, one drink. <laughs> they hate been, me. What you been drumming, bitch? What you mean? What I been drumming? Drums. See, you can't even. 
I just want to know. I just want to know. Oh, I just want to know what gives her this confidence. Oh, this, I need to get this unwavering Is that confidence. God for the hits? Mm, okay, Chris, from the circle. God Simple for the that. hits. Mm-mm. Exactly. <laughs> Simple as that. Oh, now, man. since you've been here in L.A., mm-hmm. now you, well, I know, but we know, you've thrown a few shows. Mm-hmm. So, like, what made you want to start throwing your own shows? And do you see some, like, in the future? Oh, yeah. Um, everybody be throwing shows, and, like, I don't like how they are. I don't like the way that they're promoted. I don't like the, um, the way that they book acts. I don't like the way that they, basically, the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? It's an industry. Yeah. It's a, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Industry. A lot of this shit is vultures. There's a lot of vultures out here. There's a lot of people that have good intentions, but they don't really have that um, that drive or that, that you know what I'm saying, that, that want to push their events and stuff like that. So... That's why I did it. And then on top of that, niggas be wanting you to pay to fund their shows and shit like that. And I'm like, mm. well, I'm not broke. You know what I'm saying? So I can, <laughs> I can put, you know, right. I can put a show together. You know, oh, I, no, you know what I'm saying? Chain, chain, if I'm going to put some money here. up. <laughs> right. Shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> type shit. You know what I'm saying? Until I can find niggas that are uh, willing to put their bread up. But you got to put your own money up first before a nigga be willing to put some shit up. So that's pretty much why. So I can get my shit going on and I can get my feet wet with putting on shows and throwing events. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much it. Mm-hmm. That part. I think we have one more question. Uh, yeah. Um, maybe like a couple more. Maybe okay. it's just one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So, <laughs> what are the shows that you threw mm-hmm. for your album release party? Mm-hmm. So can you just like Talk to us about that, like mm-hmm. what Talk it was like, nice. because you know you had your album release party the same Man. night that the album came out. So yep. like, just how did it feel like for the album to be out and then for that same night to come out and mm-hmm. perform and mm-hmm. like the people already knew like the words to the songs mm-hmm. and everything. Just like, what was Man, that, that like? was a mixed bag of emotions. First off, I was lit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I was turned up. <laughs> So, like, I was happy. I was just happy that my album was out and that people pulled up to the show. So, like, if you see footage of the shit, you probably see me cheesing the shit throughout the whole performance. Mm-hmm. But, like, it was just lit, man. I had people come up. I had put a little event break. Um, actually sold out my tickets and shit. Niggas pulled up to the show. Uh, I didn't expect there to be so many people there, but it, it was a nice amount of people. People were rapping and singing the songs, like she said. And also, a lot of those songs I never performed before. So, like I said, it was a mixed bag. Like, some of the songs I was lit to do with some of the songs, like, as I started rapping, and I'm like, oh, fuck, I've never performed this shit. Before. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, a lot of that was just, you know, it was a first experience, man. And that was just the first time that I just had a whole bunch of people just pull up just to see me. It was nobody else. Like, it was my show. I was in there selling my Who was your people? Like, right. You know what I'm saying? That's how you want it to like, be. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's how that shit was. Like, and, and if that can be a reflection on how things are going to be in the future, but just on a larger scale, I can definitely get used to that. And I just hope more people come out and um, support and just enjoy the shows with me as I'm learning and, and you know what I'm saying, and growing in my, as myself as an artist. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's pretty dope. I'm glad that I was able to do that and people came out and enjoyed it with me. Mm-hmm. That shit is tight. Mika, do you have another question? Yes. If you can open up a show for any artist, who would you pick to open up for? If they, if somebody came up to you and and asked, (laughs) if somebody came up to you, like if one of your favorite artists came up to you and asked you, can you be on tour with me? Can you open up all of my shows, Mm -hmm. all of my Europe shows, all of my... All of my American shows. <clears throat> who would it be? Yeah, I ain't gonna it lie. Be? It would have to be somebody who I feel like their fan base is people that I would like to kick it with or people that I would like to listen to my music, people that I can see rocking my merch, uh-huh. people that I can see like just getting with my whole get down. It'd probably be a nigga like, like Tyler. Like that shit would be okay. fire mm-hmm. as fuck. Like yes. if I could, if I can oh, go on tour with that nigga, like. And then on top of that, he's so he's so smart. Like he's yeah. he's a good mm-hmm. artist. Like he's amazing. He's creative. Like there's so much. I know there's so much shit that I'll be able to, that I would learn from that. So that'd probably be it. Um, no G Easy. Uh, 
Don't no, G-Eazy. Stop. Your girl, your Stop girl from your town. Man. <laughs> no, G-Eazy. I don't even want to talk about that. Okay, listen. <laughs> Drive the Mayflower. Man, the stallion. <laughs> the stallion is. Hey, man. Open and left a lot of things. Shout out, G-Eazy. shout out to Texas, man. Shout out to Houston. Everybody want to be <laughs> on us, so I mean, it, <laughs> it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Even white men named Gerald. Even, even white men named Gerald. <laughs> I'm oh shit. You know what I'm saying? It is what it I is. Can't. But yeah, like um, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> Come on, nice. yeah. headspace, headspace, man. Headspace. headspace is out, and like I said, it dropped on the January third, two thousand twenty. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole new decade. The first Flame Friday of the decade. Let's you know what I'm saying? If you want to hear some some fire ass beats that you ain't never heard before oh. from an up and coming <laughs> artist from the <laughs> south. You know what I'm saying? Over some bars. That's the album you want to listen to. I know you hear shit all the time. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, listen to something different. You know what I'm saying? Check that shit out. It's so much fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's something that you're going to definitely rock with, man. And I'm excited. And I, I hope that you go listen to that shit. It's a really good album. I put a lot of work in for it. So, yeah, that's Headspace, man. Y'all check okay. that shit out. Well, where can our listeners and viewers <coughs> find you? Like, oh. give us your social. Man. Shut it out. Come so, on, give it to like, us. like give we it said, to man, my name is Deuce Flame. I spell that for you. That's D U E C E Flame. You know what I'm saying? And the album's name is Headspace. Now, you can just go to my website. It's easy, deuceflame.com. Or you can follow me on Instagram. It's Deuce Flame. My Twitter is Deuce Flame. Uh, just Google Deuce Flame, man. I I'm, I put in a nice amount of work to have my shit in different places and make it easy for you. Mm-hmm. But I know a lot of you niggas is on Instagram, so just <laughs> go to Instagram. <laughs> and then my website is in my bio. It's, it's easy. Simple as Deuce that. Flame. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, where can you find... Us. Frenchie? Frenchie? Yeah. Where are we at? Wow, it's Where my we favorite at? part. <laughs> the end. <laughs> um, I just want to say thank you so much yes, for doing this. Yes, thank you for doing this. Hell yeah. Thank you. I know, like, you know, it's a, it took some time to get this together. It did. The schedules yeah. had to mesh, but they meshed. But they meshed. You know, it took some time for us to get all on the same, you know, schedule and page, but we got it together. It's done. We're all mm-hmm. here and it happened and it was great. So we just want to say thank you so much for coming out. Yes, really thank appreciate you. you. Man, thank you. Let's wrap it up for sure. Yay. Thank y'all for having me, man. Of it's always dope to see people that appreciate art and they, you know what I'm saying, are black. <laughs> we are black. We are black. We are black. You are black. We are yeah, black. Yeah, I am black. Shouts out, man. Like happy Black History Month. Happy Black History Month. You know, happy happy just because we pro black don't mean that we anti anything. We just really love us. You know what I'm yes. saying? So. Don't be mad, man. We just really lit right now. Don't be mad. Be supportive. Exactly. And guess what? Sure. We got an extra day this year, so see y'all February oh. 29th. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Shout out to everybody born on February 29th that's turning like three or four. Because <laughs> <laughs> <barely. Yeah. laughs> you barely get a birthday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. And so I don't want to hear that I'm celebrating on the first of the 28th year because that's phony. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. But shout out, oh, man. For sure, for sure. Y'all forget the pie. So, yes, thank you so much. And mm-hmm. follow us mm-hmm. on Instagram and Twitter at TVU Podcast. Go ahead and send us an email at theblackumbrellapc at gmail.com. Let us know what you thought about the episode. How do you feel about this guy? I yeah, guess. man. Is let he cool? Is he whack? Whack yeah. to snack? Thumbs up, thumbs down, hot or not, let him know. Hot or not. Hot or not. Oh. Continue. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Follow us, like I said, Instagram and Twitter at TVU Podcast. <laughs> Email us at the Black Umbrella PC. Uh, yeah. Just let us know. Um, listen to his album. Let us know what yeah. you think. Hashtag. And we'll let him know. Come on. Hashtag. 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 And yeah, man. If y'all want some merch, I got exclusive merch, man. Y'all make sure to hit me up on Instagram. Like I said, my Instagram Hashtag. is Deuce Flame. I got all types of shit, man. Especially if you smoke, man. I got them lighters that make that heat, that weed. Hit I high. use it all it hit, the time. You know, I'm telling you. You can't be lighting up if you ain't got no flame lighter. And that's He's on right. me. Because I don't. Exactly. <laughs> uh-huh. This this is the yes. this is an imaginary blunt. It, it well, is. it's it's very smashed. <laughs> you know, no smoke, bitch. <laughs> well, I'm trying to be cool here. I'm trying to be cool here. I'm breaking my pool. Oh man. Let us know what you want to see next week, next episodes under our umbrella, which we didn't have this week. So hey, 
Let give us, us know. suggestions for next week and we'll talk about it all even if you want to tell us any stories or whatever just email us like we said check tell them out tell us a story and we will see I want to hear some Valentine's Day stories Ooh, baby. Valentine's Day stories yes get, get as disgusting yes. as you want yes who cares Sex. <laughs> yes prostitution Ooh. We, who support cares? It. we support raw. it raw we support hey. you only fans did you just say only raw only here <laughs> <laughs> we support it all let's get it yes. raw we support it all wow drop your only fans that's the one way to end it <laughs> hey space well thank y'all thank you for <laughs> thank coming thank you so much thank you and we'll see y'all y'all have a great TVU Thursday and we'll see you next R. week R.I.P. my name is Kobe man. yes rest in peace Kobe rest and Gigi peace, and everyone Kobe else and Gigi. on that on that side everyone else mm-hmm. yeah we love y'all we out okay, bye we out